Is that a gold ring? All right, I got a beautiful hunt today. I'm at a campground on a lake. We'll just see how it goes. I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I gotta deal with this beauty all day? Look at that. All right, see if we can get some treasure. All right, first good target, got a penny. Say, so I got me a dime. All right, got me a nickel. That's weird. Wonder if that little edge right there was in or out. So it's kind of two tone. But that was in. Well, it's been slower than I hoped. Quite a few pennies. Here's some sunglasses. All right, that campground was kind of a bust. I'm at a swimming beach. It's pretty loud. Here's a quarter. Look at that. I got a ring. It's gonna be a, a tungsten. Let's see. Yeah, I think I found that same ring before, except for little diamond things never in there. Yeah. They can't see a mark, but boom. All right, I got some sort of other ring. Uh, darn it, I think it's going to be junk again. <laughs> well, I dug and dug and dug. It really was a half dollar. Okay, so I'm doing a little river hunt. Haven't got a lot yet. I think I got a couple vapes, some penny, some junk. Hey, here's a spoon. So this is a first for me. I don't know if you can see that, but... I'm just walking along, and I look over. And I think I see a ring in the river. Like I'm not even metal detecting this one. Check this out, guys. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, that happens every day. Whoa. It's got to be silver. Hold on, let me clean it up real quick, guys. Well, I can't find a mark in it, but I'm pretty sure this is silver. It rings right, it looks right, feels right. I don't know. Maybe it's bling, but I'm just saying my gut is this one's silver. But how cool is that? So, check this out. So upstream here there's like a place where people get out and people swim and there isn't much going on up there and then kind of the river flows down and up there it's almost hard to dig like there's really no gravel it's just boulders but down here you start getting kind of the gravel and i think what's happening is the river's washing through there and pushing stuff down here because when I got down here this is where I started kind of finding stuff which is way below the swim hole so I think you almost got to think of this kind of like how gold travels down and then you know you got to find where all the items are getting stuck at almost but how cool is that I mean I'm detecting along I'm finding some pull tabs and some junk and you know this and that a couple of, couple of pieces of clad and then I look down and there's a ring right below me. I mean, that's just amazing. I've just never had that happen in the river before. Just sight a ring, crazy. All right, let's see if we can get anything else. Well, there's a interesting little relic. <clears throat> I'm not really sure what it is either. Huh, ringing real high. Hey, look at that, I finally got a quarter. Okay, back at the soccer field. Just got a couple hours. So, 
I already dug a few pull tabs and stuff. Here's my first, I guess, good target. Get a zinc penny. Well, I can't decide what to do. I kind of feel like doing one of those hunts where I show you guys everything I find. Because it's going to be a short one. Yeah, we'll see. Foil. So you guys should probably know at this point. Um, I don't really discriminate too much what I dig. I try to dig everything because gold can come up so many different numbers. In fact, I was just thinking, you know, a lot of people don't like to dig the zinc penny signals, but that's right where gold and silver overlap a lot. Like you'll get really big gold at 20 and really small silver at 20. So, and of course there's other things, relics and tokens and all kinds of things that'll hit 20. Um, you know, a lot of people like to skip them, but I can tell you some of my best gold rings came at 20, or right around there, 21, 22. Okay, I see my first piece of jewelry. This is a 13. What do we got? A little moon pendant. Fortunately, looks like bling. So, something weird. It says Vernon, BC. Yeah, I don't know what that means. The lick is in there so long it had its own little plug in the back of it. Crazy. Nickel. There was actually two nickels in that hole. I just dug that sound because it was so crazy. Look, like it's a back tire assembly off of one of those little finger skateboards. Now that I've never dug. So I got me an earring or something here. What do we got? So just a really fancy earring. Well, at least right now I'm not seeing a mark. Kind of surprises me. I mean, that is so well crafted for bling. Maybe I just haven't seen it yet. Crazy. All right, so I got a eight. And I don't know what this is yet. <laughs> is that a gold ring? Come on. Oh. Fish should get it in the camera. Heck yeah, man. That is a little gold ring. How cool is that? Smashed. Looks like it might have a couple of have a little diamonds. You know, let me clean it up. I'll get right back. <laughs> so <laughs> it's pretty light. It's probably only uh, maybe two grams. Maybe <laughs> might even just be one gram. But ten karat gold. Looks like the stones missing out of it. There you go, there's your little eight. There's your little foil sound. Hope you guys are digging eights. If not, you're passing up gold. I guess the one thing I did want to say is the, yeah, you just gotta stick with it. I uh, actually haven't dug very much stuff tonight. I, I don't know if you can see, this is only part of it, but I walked all the way down there and all the way back. And I might've dug a dozen things, but anywhere people are doing sports, they lose jewelry. I mean, one thing that's nice about out here is there's not a lot of trash because it's not like a picnic area. So, you know, a little ring falls off the finger while they're playing soccer or whatever. That's exactly why I'm out here.